Praise God, lovely people. Good morning, church. You are so much welcome to our today's online service. My name is Akia Anna Mary, and I'll be taking us through the programs of today and the week. Every Sunday from 10 a.m., put on your dancing shoes, get ready to listen to a power packed word from our senior pastor, Pastor Robert Kaziwe, and the great praise that comes from our praise ministries, the Dominion Praise Ministries. You do not want to miss every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We have our online Bible study by our resident pastor, Pastor John Bazira. Invite a friend, be a part of this. And every Friday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we are here in the Holy Ghost Revival Service. That is the lunch hour. At your place of work, wherever you are, tune in and be blessed. We are praying for ourselves, praying for the body of Christ, praying for the ministry and anyone else that you feel to pray for. Be a part of the ministry. Do not forget to share the link. Invite a friend. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Get ready as we invite Elisha to take us through the poem and the praise ministries. Take us through the praise session. We love you. God bless you. I'm sure in love with your participation, sir. Tata, wow, you have given true meaning to it. A giver always carrying that big heart. It's one for all that decide and accept you for a dad. And therein lies equality. From you, I first heard these words. I love you and I'm so proud of you, my child. A hand that releases a mouth full of blessings. Nkwagalanyo, Tata. Ise, a roar to whatever isn't part of me. Having you as a guide, counselor, has always made my path straight and clear for that. Woohoo! Always cheering me up. I'm reaching out for my destiny. Time you allow me, sit with you, talk with you, play with you, laugh at everything that makes us smile forever stays on my heart. You are never busy, Dad. You are, surely are the head, sir. A mind always at work, thinking about how to make our life better. Eyes always seeking out for the best that I deserve. You know, I cannot say it all. But this one thing I know, every little thing about you defines the further you are. Faith in the Almighty God. A fight on my knees. It's how you further me. No wonder every glance at you reminds me about Abraham that father of faith and above all God that love happy Father's Day Hallelujah good morning DCI family from wherever you are praise the name of the Amen. Lord the Lord is mighty Hallelujah. the Lord is great the Lord is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or think according to the power that is at work in you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 91 from verses 1 the Bible says that you who sit down in the high God's presence spend the night in Shaddai's shadow say this God you are my refuge. I trust in you and I am saved that's right. He rescues you from the hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazards like Corona. <laughs> His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, you are perfectly safe. His arms fend you off all harm. Fear nothing. Not wild wolves in the night. Not flying arrows in the day. Not 
diseases that prowls through the darkness, nor a disaster that erupts at high noon, even though others succumb all around, drop like flies right and left, no harm will ever grace you. You will stand untouched. Yeah. Wrap it all up from a distance and watch the wicked turn into corpses. Yes, you, 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 you God, are our refuge, the high God, our very own home. Evil can't be close to us. Evil can't get through the door. He ordered his angels to guard you. sitting room in your bedroom wherever you're watching from and we're gonna give God the praise hallelujah Jimmy. 
Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes.
I want you to take a moment. If you've been not worshiping, just wash, watching us. Maybe you've been just watching and being entertained. Maybe you have been just looking from a distance. I'm just asking you to take a moment right now and, and give thanks to his name. Give thanks the power that is in his name. Give thanks because the Bible tells us that there is no name given among us men that can save us other than the name Jesus. You are still alive because of that name. You are still preserved because of that name. You are still breathing because of that name. And so take a few moments, thank God that when you raise your hand in the name of Jesus, God hears you. That when you command that sickness in the name of Jesus, sickness bows. That when you call death to come out, death comes out. That when you command anything in that name, it will happen as it's going to happen today in the name of Jesus. So take a few moments to give God the glory, to give God the praise, to give God the worship, to give the Lord the thanks, the thanks that is due to his name, the thanks that he deserves, telling the Lord, you have done me well. You have kept me alive. I'm still breathing from my head up the soles of my feet. I am well. I am well. I am well. You have done me well because you are good and your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. And so I bless your name. I bless your name, I bless your name. I bless your name. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Gee, my Jesus. You have done me, you have done me, you have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me Yes, he has. Well. You have done me and he will continue to do you well. You have if you have not testified, by the end of this service, you will testify that you have done me well. You have healed me from COVID. You have provided for me. You have protected me. That will be your testimony. You have done me well. You have done, done me well. Thank 
you, Jesus. You have really done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. More than the doctor, more than my mother, more than my father, more than my money. You have done, you have done me well. and give the Lord a clap and give the Lord a shout give him an offering of praise hallelujah 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 let's open up this word with a word of prayer Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise and we give you glory we give you honor you are worthy of every praise. Indeed, you have done us well. You have not forsaken us. You have not left us alone. You have preserved us. You have watched over our lives. You have blessed us. We are still alive because of your grace and mercy. So we bless you and we honor you. Even as we share your word with your people, we pray that the Holy Spirit will move in their lives and bring healing and bring hope and bring deliverance where there has been death. Let resurrection take place. Where there has been sickness, let healing take place. Where there has been lack and scarcity, let needs be supplied. Where there has been a cry, let there be comfort. Jesus, by your power and by your spirit, make a difference right now. You who said in the book of Luke chapter 4, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. He has sent me to set free every captive. And so we stand in your grace and we stand in your name telling every captive be free in the name of Jesus. Telling every blind receive your sight in the name of Jesus. Telling the tormented and the afflicted, be loosed. Telling the dead, rise from the dead. Receive the resurrection life of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. And everybody, 
who has heard my prayer. Say amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. To God be the honor and the God be the glory. My names are Pastor Robert Kaziwe. The senior pastor of Dominion Church International. Found in Imbuya. Where we believe that God is still in the miracle business. Where we believe all hope is not lost. Because the Bible tells us that the three things will always remain. Faith, hope, and love. Why hope? Because God is alive. And God is there for you. And when you have that hope, and you activate that all by faith. You'll connect with God's everlasting arms. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're here to remind you also. Not to forget. To join our media platforms. All the information are on the screen. I believe there is some wonderful information that will enrich you and encourage you and empower you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But above all, I want you to know Jesus loves you. God loves you. And so do we in the name of Jesus Christ. We spoke to you from the book of Hebrews the last time we ministered to you. Sharing to you the hope we have in the midst of death. The hope we have in the midst of death. In Christ, every phase of life that we go through there is hope. We have hope in life. We have hope in death. We have hope in eternal life. We have hope in resurrection. We have hope in the second coming of Christ. We, 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 we have hope. And God wants you to know that your hope will become alive today in the name of Jesus Let's open our Bibles from the book of Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. And you're going to read a couple of scriptures. Hebrews chapter 2. From verses 9. Hebrews chapter 2. From verses 9. The Bible says verses 9. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he, talking about Jesus, by the grace of God should test death for every man. That he, by the grace of God, talking about Jesus, should test death for every man. So your death and my death or whatever causes death in me, whatever causes death in you yesterday, today, and tomorrow. By the grace of God, the Bible has told us that Jesus tested it for you. Jesus went to the grave to test death for me. Three days later, he rose from the dead to remind me that he has delivered me from death because he has tested 
death on my behalf. So that I don't have to test death. And the Bible goes on to say. Verse 14. For as much then. As the children are partakers of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise. Took part of the same. That through death. He might destroy him. That had power over death. And that is the devil. And deliver them. Who through the fear of death. Where all their lifetime. Subject. To bondage. Which bondage? Which bondage? Which bondage? The bondage of the fear of death. But before he could deliver us from the bondage of the fear of death, he dealt with the captain, with the God, the author of death, and that is Satan. And he took your place and my place. To test death and after he tests death he goes to Satan he took out the keys from him and when he rose from the dead he said to John in the book of Revelation chapter 1 from verse 17 that fear not I am he that was dead but now I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of hell and and death. Think about that for a minute. These are the words he spoke to John. He said, fear not. Because when John saw him, he saw a resurrected Christ. He saw a majestic Christ. Powerful. And then he fell at his feet. And he became unconscious. And then Jesus reached out his hands and says, John, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. I am the one that was dead for you to test death for you to go to Satan take the keys of death for you for you for you for you for you, for you. and then he went on to say from this point onward I want you to know that I will never die again I have I'm above death. Not only that. But I want you to know. That I have the keys. Of hell. And death. And so if you are bound in death. You have two days to live. COVID has saturated in your lungs. Maybe you are on oxygen. It might not even be COVID. HIV. Cancer. Cancer. Arthritis. Asthma. Asthma. Whatever disease known and unknown. That have engulfed your body. And there is no hope as far as you are concerned. God has sent us to you to tell you that in the name of Jesus, the name Jesus, in the person of Jesus, in the power of Jesus, through his name, he is releasing you, he is setting you free from death. Let me say it again. I declare to you from your head up to the soles of your feet that death is leaving you. The fear of death is leaving you in the name of Jesus. And you are becoming alive. And so the life of God now begin to flow to you from your head up the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus. I declare to you that let every part of your being from inside out live in Jesus' name. He told John I have the keys. I have the keys. I 
have the keys. I have the keys of death. In other words, because you are mine, death cannot have an upper hand. Even if it does have, I want you to know for you to live is me. But to die is also gain. In me, nobody dies. Let me say it again. In Christ, Christo, nobody dies. For you to live will bring glory to God. But also for you to die is to gain. Heaven gains. Because one soul has fought in Christ and has not ended up in hell. Say in the name of Jesus. Death has no power over me. I will not die before my time. Say that again. Say in the name of Jesus. Death has no power over me. I will not die before my time. There's a scripture that I want to share with you also. It's in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Here the apostle Paul is writing to the Corinthian church. And the spirit of the Lord will lead him to mention a few things about life and death. So in verses 9 in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 but we are the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves. Listen to the last portion of that scripture. But in God which raises the dead. Powerful. He says to the church there was a time in our lives when death had sentenced us. And he's talking about a group of people. And he does not say what kind of death it was. But it was real. It was very Real. So he says, I want you to know there was a time. Death judged us. And death sentenced us. And we came to a place where in our lives there is no more hope. But simply to lean simply to trust simply to depend on the grace and the masses of God who raises the dead. So he's telling us yes, death is very present. And yes, sometimes death will sentence you. But you can also depend and trust in God who has power over death but also who raises the dead. He has power over death but also he raises the dead and if he raises the dead if he raises the dead then I believe then I believe he can heal the sick he ought to just say if he raises the dead and he has the power to raise the dead then he has the power to also heal the sick because which one is greater. Which one is more painful? To raise the dead or to heal the sick? But if he can raise the dead, he will heal you from your sickness. If he can raise the dead, he will save you from death. But even if you die, he will also raise you from death in the name of Jesus. And then he goes on to say, verses 10, who delivered us from so great a death. Then he went on to say, 
and doth deliver. In home also we trust that he will yet deliver. He spoke about three kind of deliverance from the dead. He talked about past death. He talked about present death. He talks about future death. So that in your life you are free from the fear of death. COVID will not send us here. Because our God raises people from the dead. He did it before. He will do it today. Whether there is another wave. COVID 29. COVID 35. COVID 105. He will deliver you today. And he will deliver you tomorrow. If you believe that shout hallelujah. If you believe that shout glory. If you believe that shout amen. Say my God delivered me before. He will deliver me today and he will deliver me tomorrow. In the name of Jesus I'm alive and I will be alive in God in Christ forevermore in Jesus' name. So I speak to life to you my friend. I speak healing to you. I speak grace to you in Jesus' name. Then he concludes that submission by saying to us, verses 11, you also, telling the church, helping together by prayer for us. So he's saying to us that he will deliver us from today, tomorrow, and forever. But also for that to take place as we walk in this deliverance, we need prayers from you as well. So that what God did in our lives and the gift he has put on our lives will continue to minister to other people. Look at what he says. Verses 11. You also helping together by prayer for us. That for the gift bestowed upon us. By the means of many persons. Thanks may be given by many on our behalf. In other words, was saying, if you continue to pray, we will be delivered from death so that our life and the gift God has placed upon us will continue to minister to many people around the world. What is he saying to us? That in these days of COVID, prayer is the way forward. It takes years for God to raise ministers. For God to raise churches. For God to raise people who are testifiers. But it takes a split second for death to kill them. But he's telling us that the way forward, if you want to see those churches still standing, if you want to see the preachers still standing, if you want to see ministers still standing, the way forward is to continue praying for them. And so I'm going to ask you, wherever you are, in your sitting room, wherever you are, in your bedroom, wherever you are watching, to stand with us right now as we stand in prayer, lifting up this nation, lifting up you, lifting up your pastor. Some of them we don't remember by name, but you can call them by name in this prayer. 
because it's saying to us that we can help say we can help we can help to father the gift and the call of God upon the ministers so that they can continue preaching this gospel so that God can still use them to bring deliverance and resurrection to his people I want you to raise your hands wherever you are and all of us that are here let's raise our hands and let's stand in agreement with these men and women of God wherever they can be found if you remember anyone lift them before God in the mighty name of Jesus Father of glory in the mighty name of Jesus we stand in this promise we stand in this word we stand in this hope we stand in this faith and we declare in the name of Jesus that all ministers of the gospel in this land Uganda they shall leave they shall leave you who delivered people from death before with great, great testimonies that we see in scriptures. We see you touching the dead through the life of Christ. The poor widow of Nain who had a only son and you raised up that son you who raised up Lazarus from the dead we see you doing the great things and still raising the dead through the life of the apostle we see Peter in the book of Acts chapter 9 raising Lydia from the dead we see the apostle Paul in the book of Acts, raising Uticas from the dead. And so we will speak to men and women that COVID has placed down, that sickness has put down of any form, of any form. Of any form, of any form, from their heads to the soles of their feet, in the name of Jesus, COVID leave, sickness leave, death leave, leave their lungs, leave their blood system, leave their minds, leave their vessels, and you fear of death, you spirit of fear, we come I command you to live, 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 live. In the name of Jesus, we lift up Pastor Simeon Kaiwa. We speak life upon us. We lift up Bishop Semfuma. We speak life. We lift up dads and moms in Lago Hospital, in Nakasero Hospital, in Zambia Hospital. Those who hear the voice of my prayer, let them live now. Let the power of God touch them and let God raise them from the deathbed let them live in the name of Jesus mother you shall live Father, you shall live. Child of God, you shall live. Uncle, you shall live. Woman of God, you shall live. Church of the living God, you shall live. In the name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to know that we love you. We want you to know that we are going to be praying for you. And if you have a prayer request, please send us. And we will pray and stand in agreement with you. Amen. Amen. Now as you 
believe God with us in your giving. We want to release a blessing upon you. Father, in the name of Jesus, as your people stand with us and stand with your work, as they give, remember Malachi chapter 3. You said you'll open the windows of heaven and you'll pour out a blessing and you'll rebuke the devourer for their sake. Release that grace now. Let them be blessed in the name of Jesus. If God has touched your life, send us a testimony and we will rejoice with you. Until then, until we meet again, this is Pastor Robert Kaziwe greeting you all the way from Mbuya Dominion Church. We love you and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.